we're going on a road trip. Hopefully you can hear me and the audio sounds good. Hi everyone, it's Stardust Raccoon and today we are going to Megacon. It's Saturday, I have the day off. I was lucky enough to be able to secure some funding today to go to Megacon. I really want to share Megacon with you. I have my girl right here next to me. I don't want to pick her up because I'm driving. And I already know what the comments are going to say. Star, you know better. Guess what? I'm not touching you. La, 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 la. I'm not touching you. So we're going to go to Megacon today. And we've got Star. We're also going to cosplay. So I don't know if you can see the shirt. It's a skull and crossbones. We are going as Captain Starlock. And so we're going to go be Starlock. We're going to go to the Orange County Convention Center. It's going to take me about an hour to get there or so. So I will see you all in a little bit. There it is. That is our goal for today. That is where we're headed. Actually, that's not the one we're headed to because that's the home of CattleCon. Uh, come to find out, there is a livestock convention here in Orlando this, weave, uh, this, e this weekend. And it is called CattleCon. As it is with any Megacon, uh, parking is a nightmare again. Is We're gonna have fun, it's gonna be fun, you're gonna love it. So, come to find out, because your girl did not do her homework, most of the lots around the convention center this year went to prepaid only. The parking garage that I normally use also went to prepaid. Welcome to Freedom High School, where we're going to be parking our car out in the middle of nowhere, Kissimmee. Let's go to Megacon. We're finally parked. We're waiting for the bus. And uh, now things are starting to feel a little bit better. You guys over the back? Keep coming. Thank you. <laughs> don't be afraid. I don't have rabies. <laughs> I just got Dad, tested. They had me bite a guy and he didn't test positive. We're here. Let's go to MechaCon. That only took two and a half hours to get here. We already bought our tickets over the phone. So we're going to go inside. We're going to collect them. I already see a rainbow dash. Let's get inside. See what's shaking at MechaCon. 2024. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Megacon, everybody. All right, my lovelies, we're now activated. We can go into the convention. Let's go have some fun. And welcome to Big Empty Hall Con. I love this con. This is my favorite con. Big Empty Hall is probably my favorite. Where the hell's the rest of the convention? Oh wow, I saw my first cosplayer. Look, it's Tiggs. It's Tiggs from Canada. Wow, I'm so... I cannot believe I saw Tiggs already when I got into the convention. <laughs> Walk around and we'll see some of the vendors and the food that they have, maybe some of the cosplays if they're really cool and I remember who they are. Right now we are in the area that's going to be all the pre-made stuff, all the resellers and the toy sellers and I see, it. Ooh, I see a bender. Let's go look at bender over here for a minute. Bender, Bending Rodriguez. And apparently you can take him home. Or Oh my goodness, that is, wow, I don't have a feeling I'm going to be able to even get to everything today and walk around, but I'm going to try to, I'm going to at least try to see a lot of things, they have lounge fly bags like I love, I'm not even wearing that, I'm wearing a, oh it's Sailor Jupiter. Uh, my favorite Sailor Scout, if anyone's wanting to ever make gift art of me out there, uh, don't be afraid to put me in the Jupiter suit, because Jupiter is the best of Sailor Scouts. Kind of dig that shirt. Kind of. I have pins, weird 
bunch of stuff, Hello Kitty stuff, lanyards, more shirts. One of the things that I'm finding very quickly is how hard it is to move around or get to like a booth. Say I wanted to go see this one. Right now it's pretty okay, but just a moment ago, as you saw, I was trying to get to that booth a moment, and it's just, it's hard. It's hard getting around. Like right now I've got pretty decent elbow room, but there are occasions, especially during the smaller aisles, where it is hard to get into where I want to be. And they just kind of look at you like, I guess maybe because I'm in fursuit that they don't want to let me over or they don't understand. Huh? Can I get a picture with you? Of course you may. Okay, cool. Thank you. I love your, I love your Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I do love it. That people are so... That's what I do love about fandom events is people are respectful most of the time and ask, may I please get a picture with you? Do you mind if I get a picture with you? Is it okay? And they at least ask permission. So I need, with what little vision I have, I need to have both eyes open. Store over here selling DVDs. Uh, this store over here has clothes. So we're still going to just wander around a little bit and see what we find. Like, I, oh, I just found an interesting store I kind of like. It's kind of got some girly clothes in it. So I'm going to come in here and see if I can if I can shop. The people will let me. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything, but we have some interesting stuff. Um, it's a requirement, I believe, at these conventions now to have just a, a arms dealer of some kind with the imitation swords and armory, and I'm willing to bet there's probably more than just a couple of them. And then we have the unconscious Pokemon over here. You gotta love an unconscious Pokemon. I believe that's called Battle Fainted. They need to go to a Poke Center. I never understood that either in the cartoon. How come when you knock a Pokemon unconscious, you cannot capture them? I never understood that. It's a little weird if you ask me. How come I can't capture? That would be like the most opportune time. Did they decide it was unsporting? I have no idea. There's also a lot of these guys now. These like, oh, hello. Oh. Well then, they have a Lola. Not sure how the lipstick got there. Who would kiss that? It's not her own. I've probably seen a lot of furry porn that tells me where that came from. There's a lot of these poster vendors now too. I guess that it's easy to haul and maintain and, and store and take places. They've got, I do like this aesthetic though, that uh, Vaporwave, 1990s, early 90s, late 80s kind of aesthetic. I'd probably get one of these if they had it a little bit more furry. I guess that's, oh, I'm sorry. I guess that's where my aesthetic kind of begins and ends is it does have rabbit ears on it. Keychain mascots. Back in the day, I used to have a ton of anime figurines and plastic sculptures. They, they have these guys too, the mystery boxes. I've never, I've never bought a mystery box. I might purchase a mystery box today. Currently at the, this booth, I don't even know how to pronounce that. What do you mean? These are super cool. I think they would look good on Star. I don't know. What do y'all think? About that. I don't even know how they would fit. Let me see if I can ask someone. So they have a pair of tech pants that I really want. Those purple ones. I really kind of want those. Uh, however, they do not have a size that I want. They have a size that would fit. Not a size that I would want. 
They gave me a business card. I've already done business with them. In fact, if you go back and look at my best bags for fur shooters video, you'll see that the offset bag is one of those that I favorite. If, if not, believe it won. I don't want to say the offset leg bag won as my favorite fur shooting bag. Oh my God, it's Optimus Prime. You know, I used to work for a convention in Lafayette where the guy was obsessed with Transformers. We have an animated art dealer, which is, hey boys, look at who it is. Every furry said we shot one load to her. She's going for $6.95, pinky in the brain. I've never really cared for them. To be honest, not my favorite. They got Peppy. That's from one of the TV shows. Oh, like Mickey Mouse Yeah. And that's from the Dalmatians? Yeah. And just trying to kind of look around It's over 85 years old. Tom Ruger sign. Oh, hello. God, someone lend me $900 real fast. I need this. Who is this? This is at Choice Fine Art. You have to remember these guys. What kind of stuff. I'm gonna take a hot take here. I never really cared that much for Harley Quinn. Just never really cared for her that much. And we continue the march. If it's claustrophobic on the screen, it's because it's 20 times as claustrophobic out here. Um, there's another one of those blind box guys. Looks like selling essentially the same boxes with different labels. Kind of. No, it looks like the same boxes. Looks like the exact same boxes. Is there a box company that makes these and sells them? I am not paying 60 damn dollars for them. We're not going to be doing an unboxing of a box video today. I'm not paying 60 bucks for one of these damn things. Oh. Giant sleepy dinos. Oh, gators. Gators. They were at the furry con, they would be a gay term. But they're just gators here because there's normies about the amount of work that some people put on. I like that fox over there. Hey, what's going on? You got a different. different that is a cool fox. This is a neat little booth. Fox booth. Okay. And the cut glass vendor booth. Mommy needs a new wine glass. They have one that says inflated big and round. Essentially the convention version of Spencer's selling shirts children will never understand. Like that no ma'am shirt up there. Here, let's look at some of these. You mean one of the rare rabbit portraits? Splash out. I will look for anything with Zootopia though. A lot of Disney ones. And some Minnie Mouse ones. I like those. Hmm. More bags. This seems to be the new in thing, is the bags. Which I agree with. Sorry. Hangable art of Game Boy cards. Interesting things. Got some stuff over there. I, I'm not going in. They sell a Pokemon cards. Oh my god, I had some of these. I would love to get into this aesthetic. I just don't know how. I don't know where to start. I really need to. What I need to do is get my tax return one year early. And then come to a convention. That way I can spend the right amount of money the first shot at trying to look better than I do. It's not even... Oh, found the furries. Hey, fuzzies! Hello. Hi, honey. Hi. 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 Hi
buddies. How are we doing? Good. We're, we're, we're doing good. 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 You're walking around making videos being stupid. Oh, yeah. Sure. All right, so what's your name? Do. My name is Angie. Hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Coda. Hi. Vincent. Hi. Uh, Adam Shortcake. Aw, <laughs> and you are all adorable. Thank you. Go carry on the furry spirit, sweetie. Okay. Good seeing you. Uh, it wouldn't be a convention without a guy in a puppy mask. How come he can have a leash? But we pull that crap at Megaplex. Oh, like, oh, finally, we're in the artist area, the artist alley, where we'll find the, the good stuff. Now we'll find the actual artists and the artworks and the fun stuff. This is the stuff I usually come for. How much are chicken fingers these days? I'm just interested. I'm not buying any. I am weak. I, uh, I had to get a fluid. It is hot in there. I'm trying to film and trying to cosplay at the same time. Of course, as the legendary spirit, uh, space pirate Captain Harlock. It is difficult to do both the filming, the narrating, and the cosplaying same time. I'm going to set up my camera here and kind of talk. Hopefully you'll hear me. You know, give me just one second and set up a tripod. For now it's just fun seeing all the cosplayers and how many people really do this now. And uh, My first convention was 2003 in New Orleans. A little thing called Numerano Con. And it was... Uh, it was awkward. It was a weird convention. And it was a different time back then, but the more things changed, actually, the more they stayed the same. Uh, found a stitch guy. That's kind of cool. I think what I'm actually looking for, I'm probably looking for something with like Roxanne Wolf, maybe a Luna. I don't know, I want something nice. I want I want something nice with Roxy or Luna on it. Now what's interesting is the more and more I actually transition, the more and more I'm amicable to the the pastel palette, as I like to call it. I'm really kind of starting to get into the, those pastel colors, those are fun. I would prefer to be using my girl voice right now, however, it's just so hard to project in here and I, I'm not confident enough. I'm really interested though. Like this is some fun stuff. They got Mothman plushies. Again, think about how many man hours are put into these things per per event. They have people who will and I've noticed that here too today that there is stuff here from Has Been Hotel now. Vivzy is here today that the creator of Hasman Hotel and excuse me, I'm sorry, sorry I'm getting choked. Uh, the creator of Hasman Hotel and the creator of Hell of a Boss, they're here today. Well, there they are. Uh, Brandon Rogers is here, the voice of Blitz, and so is Richard Horowitz. I think it's Horowitz. Is here the voice of not only. Moxie, but Invader Zim, and I'm sure he's got other credits, I just, I, I'm blanking on them right now. So they're here, so what I've noticed is how many people have stuff that is related to them already. Ooh, jewelry. Hi, how are you? Of course, over there is the celebrity area. I was looking, I think I said this earlier, Vivzy and Richard Horowitz and uh, Brandon Rogers are over there, but they're all charging like 50 bucks a piece for an autograph. And while it would be cool to get Vivzi's autograph or meet Richard Horowitz, I just, not within my pay grade right now. It is late. Your girl is tired. Um, you can see here, I don't know if you can see how long that line is. Um, that is an incredibly long line. 
to get back to the car. We're done for the day. We met some friends. We got a little sidetracked. We're going to talk a little bit in a little bit. We'll talk a little bit in a little bit about how hard it is to fursuit and how hard it is to also do a video at the same time. So, see you in a little bit. Hope you had fun inside. We'll talk in a second, sweeties. Okay? See ya. Now we wander back to the car. It has been... We only were there since 2 o'clock. And the worst part of the day, I say the worst part, the most interesting part of the day was the hour-long wait for the bus to come pick us up because they did not have enough buses at the end of the evening to pick up everyone coming back here all at once. Which you'd think they would, but they didn't. Um, I'll have my final thoughts in the car once I get there and get out of suit, so... <sighs> my feet hurt very bad. So my final thoughts on Megacon 2024. I had an absolute blast. Thank you to my sponsors who sent me to the convention. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you and everything that you do for me. So let me give my final thoughts on Megacon. It's a very large convention. I heard, and I'm not sure if this has been factually proven yet or not, there was close to uh, a few uh, thousand people. That's probably an understatement. I'm willing to guess that there was in the neighborhood of maybe fifteen to 20,000 people there on that weekend. It's now a week later. I've had work. I, I just haven't had time to sit down and do my final thoughts. Uh, one of the things that I encountered that was very difficult was filming and cosplaying at the same time. Of course, going as one of my favorite anime characters, the space pirate Captain Harlock, or as I like to call myself, space pirate Captain Starlock. Huh? 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 Validate me. I uh, met up with some really good friends, and that also distracted me from filming, is I didn't want to take away from our time together. We get so little time together, and I really just didn't want to distract them by continuously putting a camera up and saying, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. I really want to go back next year. Maybe I'll do a whole day in cosplay, and then maybe I'll do a whole day afterwards that is me filming and doing more videos, because I would love to do more videos with you and show you little snippets of my life as it occurs. So uh, there was a lot to see and do. I saw Michael Golden there, who is the creator of Bucky O'Hare. I did stop and thank him again for creating such a wonderful character, especially one that has influenced my little brother Rampart. Thanks, sis. And there were so many great creators. I saw my friend Spring Bear there. They are just a wonderful furry. They're a wonderful puppet. They have a... a a puppet suit that is called Wally Darling. I suggest you follow them on Twitter if you get that opportunity. Hello, Wally Darling. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to send you your book soon. If you like this coat that I'm wearing, it's called a Hattori coat, I believe. I was able to purchase it from one of the vendors there. I've already taken off my plot, so you'll have to kind of make do. Uh, this is a Sailor Moon inspired coat. This is one of the few things I was able to purchase. While I was there, I really wish I had highlighted that vendor's booth, but I'm going to put a link down below to their booth so that if you like this kind of thing and you're looking for something stylish, something that I believe would work well with a fursuit, like, look, take a quick look. Let me do a twirl. Hmm. What do you think, my darlings? I've put a link down below in the description to their shop so that if you like this kind of a thing, I would love that if you would support them as well. So until my next time, my friends, my name is Star Raccoon and uh, keep your stick on the ice.